Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel, guys. We've got Deftones Digital Bath coming at you today. Now, I did um, Deftones and Maynard, what was it called? Passenger. Um, it was featuring Maynard, James Keenan from Tool. Obviously, that's how I got into it. I'd done a lot of Tool reactions. Then you guys said you should check out um, Deftones, who are quite similar to Tool in that sense. And obviously, with the feature from Maynard, it just made sense to kind of make my introduction to listening to Deftones music through a feature from Maynard. So today we have got Digital Bath. You guys recommended this one off of the back of that last reaction to Passenger. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say, guys. I have just had a quick look and apparently this song is hauntingly or yeah, hauntingly beautiful song that could be played during a late night cruise. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much all we have. We got a nice like stallion or some kind of a horse as the thumbnail for this video. So headphones on as always if you want to experience the song with me. And yeah, drop a like if you haven't already subscribed to the channel if you are new. Six Silk link will be in the description, guys, if you want to go check out their brand and just, I suppose, if you want to get anything cool, um, I will leave the link in the description. They've got some nice gear, very nice fit. I'll be wearing them on my videos over the next few weeks or months or so. And yeah, shameless plugs over. Let's go. Do we need lyrics or this one? Do I have... Okay. I had the volume off there for a second. That was that could have been dangerous. A little bit of bass creeping in the background, alright. I like that drum coming here in the background there, but yeah, that was a little taste of uh, what's to come, I suppose. That sounds sick. I don't I think that's like a piano or something. This is very different.
Okay, so just picking up on the, the strange timestamps that are kind of time sequences that Deftones appear to have as well. Obviously, I've only listened to two of their tracks now, but the headbanging is kind of hard to get used to. It's similar to Tool in the sense that it can be quite hard to develop a rhythm if you're not used to listening to the song. And they've also got a few quirky little like effects and sounds thrown in. Like there was the really loud, um, it was like the piercing noise in the middle there, kind of surprised me kind of uh, it kind of scared me a little bit I'm not gonna lie it caught me out of, it caught me off guard and it just I can't remember which part of passenger it was but it, it has those kind of sounds r like rippling through the, the atmosphere in the background of each song or from the two songs that I've listened to thus far and then Chino Moreno was actually the lead singer I completely remember there um, or I remembered there and um, he's got a really distinct voice when he, he gets off on his little screams in the chorus um, I'd like to go back and listen to Passenger now and I think I have a better idea now that I've just heard his vo voice solely um, and I'd be able to kind of um, establish which parts of Passenger was him and which parts of Passenger was Maynard but all in all um, again it was actually quite a good song I did enjoy it it seems like one of them I'll have to probably listen to a few times just to get used to and maybe understand the head banging patterns a little bit more even though it's not really like a, it's not really like all out head banging song um, like the description said at the start, it's it's like a kind of hauntingly beautiful song that you could easily listen to in the guitar. That's really helped on by the, the nice drumming pattern in the background. I don't know who the drummer is. Okay, so since 1988, it was Abe Cunningham, uh, John Taylor, and then we've had uh, Dominic Garcia. So whichever one it was, shout out to them. And the drumming pattern was really nice, really relaxing. Something you could kind of rock out to, but also relax to. So um, definitely two sides to Deftones. A lot of similarities with Tool, but again, um, quite specific and, and quite unique in their own right. But yeah, guys, that was Digital Bath by Deftones. Again, um, if you guys would drop a like, that would be absolutely sick. It kind of lets me know and where I'm at in terms of the feedback with you guys, I mean, if I get likes on videos, it means that there is um, desire for me to do more. Um, if not, I mean, I can always go back and listen to them on my own time. But uh, yeah, if you do want to see more Deftones, guys, then do, do let me know in the comment section down below. I think they've got a song called Changes, which was requested as well. Um, but yeah, subscribe to the channel so you do not miss any upcoming reactions, guys. We've got a lot coming over the next few weeks. Like I said, Six Silk link will be in the description if you want to go check out their shit. Um, and even just get yourself something cozy for the winter. I don't know, man. Whatever you want to do. Even just spend some time on the website. You know, make me look good. But yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Thank you, as always, for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Cheers. Yeah.